So a lot of people have made this kind of video already. A lot of people. And with all the respect for them, they are fucking boring. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. So the first thing we'll do is download the Vinci Resolve. Oh, you, you don't know what the Vinci Resolve is? You little bit. Cut, cut. Stop fucking copying Danny. We are trying to be unique here. You can't say, oh, you don't know the Vinci Resolve. Yeah, but I like doing it. Oh my god, where is my gun? I'm going to shoot this motherfucker. Yeah. Come on, let's download this one. After we download the resolve, it's time to create a new project. And to create a new project, just press right here on the bottom right, then just type in a name and press OK. Now, the Vinci is divided into different segments. Media, cut, the edit page, which is basically like Premiere, Fusion, Color... I don't know what the fuck it's called, and the deliver page, where you export your footage. Now, let's say you already have a video ready to edit. If not, don't worry. Wait, there is something in my pocket. That's my new Discord server. Yep, that's right. Everything from this video is going to be in my Discord server. And the link is in the description. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, editing and resolve is like taking a walk in the park. You just need to press one button, and you could walk. <laughs> you missed but I didn't. Piece of what? <laughs> now let's start with the real tutorial. Okay, to import your videos into the Vinci Resolve, it's as easy as dragging them right into the timeline. Now I think it's time to go over some of the basic functions of Resolve. And I will try my best here to keep it as entertaining as possible, with less emphasis about me being a total idiot, and more about me teaching something. So you see that button? Yeah, yeah, don't touch it. And you see that one? Don't touch it as well. But you should be able to see the effects button on the top left corner. So you're gonna want to click on it and you'll get this nice little tab on the bottom left. And you'll get into this tab later, so for now, leave it. Okay, now you'll probably want to customize your UI. Well, you can't. <laughs> well, you can do a lot of customization in DaVinci Resolve, but here are some stuff I like to do. So, I like to add the effects tab, like we did earlier. I also like to add the inspector tab, which is right here on the top right corner. So, edit. Go ahead. Yeah. But you know what the A? This motherfucker is dead. And that's what I hate about the Vinci Resolve. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. <sighs> Let's move on. Alright, it's time to start cutting our clip. And what we're gonna use to cut this clip is a shortcut key. Now, in other tutorials, they'll probably tell you to press the letter B on your keyboard, which will give you the option to trim your clip by left clicking wherever you want. But it's my tutorial! So you're doing this my way? Or the I way? Alright, go to the top left corner and click on the Vinci Resolve and then click on Keyboard Customization and now you'll get this tab and I'll lead you to left click on the search bar and search for Split Clip Now just remove the default key by clicking on the Remove button and then just press the key S on your keyboard Now ignore this message and press on Assign Now all I need you to do is press on that little yellow triangle thing which should pop this thing on the left Now go ahead and left click on the Toggle Clip slash Slide Mode and it will show up on the right so just go ahead and remove the letter S from it and that's it, you can go ahead and save the changes. Now, let me make things easier for you guys. So, bring the knife tool out. <laughs> it worked, it, it's the letter. Let me see what you have! I'm no! Now, just cut out the bits you wanna keep and delete the ones you don't. Use ripple delete to bring the clip together. Now, pressing Ctrl and Z will redo the last change. And Ctrl plus A will select your whole timer. You could hold Ctrl to add to your selection and Ctrl plus left click to remove from it. Now, just keep cutting it until you reach the end of your video. Now, this could take hours or even months. Now, let's say you have a green screen and you want to get rid of the green. Or blue. If it's coming from YouTube like this one, then it's pretty easy. Alright, jump into the fusion tab and add the delta key here. Then use the dropper to select any part of the green. Now, if you want to add some death, just add the drop shadow effect and play around with it until it looks right. And that is how you remove a green screen. Now, I know it's a lot, and it's not easy to keep up. <laughs> so let's start subtitling. <laughs> Let me stop you right there, you stupid little- Okay guys, so I already made a whole video covering this whole topic. So just go ahead and watch it, like right fucking now. 